Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're joining me in the Alps on the Arosa line uh, in Train Simulator 2017. Uh, I am currently the captain of this vessel, which is a, a mighty fine Allegra. And I have to say, it has got a lot of buttons. Um, I've, I've been through uh, quite, a, quite a direct and, uh, and stern sounding tutorial in order to get me uh, fully au fait. Uh, with this vehicle that we shall proceed at a leisurely pace through the magnificent mountain scenery uh, towards our destination of I can't remember uh, but it was somewhere in the Alps uh, it's not very far away uh, so uh, why don't you uh, get out a magazine uh, enjoy the scenery and join me on this leisurely jaunt uh, through the mountains I'm your captain today, and my goodness, do I look pleased with myself. Anyway, before I forget all the controls entirely, we, uh, we should probably get underway. So the first thing I need to do here is I need to set my speed limiter to 30 kilometers an hour. I know, breakneck pace is what we're going to be doing here. Uh, reverse is already set, I believe. Uh, need to take the brake off. Brakes are off. Uh, and then uh, gently apply a little bit of juice. Now, obviously, because it's electric, it's got plenty of pickup. Um, uh, but the, uh, the the speed limiter there will keep us exactly where we need to be. There we are. Look, it's a tilter as well, friends. Uh, we'll we'll ride on board for a little while, and uh, and once we become familiar, I'll uh, I'll show you the sights and sounds of the uh, the exterior of this Allegra. Um, but from what I've seen so far, this really is a tremendous, tremendous looking route. Uh, all it really needs is a, is a, a Dakota uh, flying overhead, or in fact underneath. Either is possible. Uh, the, for those of you who don't follow along with the Transport Fever series, that is the marvel of engineering I have recently come up with. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's uh, get, on, uh, get on the outside. Yeah, that's me again. Hello. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. So, uh, as you can see, fitted with the uh, the very latest in, in tilting train technology to, uh, to really bundle us around the corner uh, without any loss of comfort for the passengers. Uh, we're currently doing 29 kilometers an hour, uh, which is about three and a half gallons. But this is a this is a, a tremendous route. Now, uh, my uh, my understanding is that this route also includes a section where you drive through the town itself, uh, a tram-like situation, uh, a Stadtbahn, I believe it is referred to as. Um, uh, I'm not entirely sure if this route we're on right now will 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 take that in or not. We can do 35. Let's let's not muck about. Let's uh, let's crank it up a little bit. No, no, no. That's the, that's the crank it up plenty. Give me a little bit more. Nah, 40 is going to be too much. There you go. Less relaxing. Now, I, I'm in no mood to, to derail this marvellous beast because uh, you, you can't derail them. They, they just throw you out of the game and go, no. No, 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 no. You have, you have been driving like you are naughty uh, and we do not allow such things. Uh, but, you know... Did, uh, Seeing what we're capable of in the corners uh, is uh, is probably a good thing. Now, that's a, I mean, to be honest, there's not. I mean, I could just watch where we're going. We're given that the engine's largely taking care of itself. The engine, the train, is uh, is largely taking care of itself over all this. Uh, but uh, I want to push some buttons and see what happens. I mean, the all important wiper button uh, for starters. Now apparently we're entering it. Is that is that gradient or is that the? Uh, well, it can't be the speed limit. This is a slalom we're on at the moment. But as you can see, uh, can you see? Yeah, you can probably make it out. We are on uh, something of a ledge, so uh, so making a mess out of one of these corners is is something you really don't want to do, because uh, you will go plummeting uh, down into the gorge and. Uh, and there will be misery for many people, not least of all you, who will probably lose your job. Right, we've got to we've got to slow down to uh, to thirty coming up, and that, that, that's the only concession. Good night. I don't play an awful lot of Train Simulator, 
Uh, I, you know, I like them, but uh, uh, I don't know what makes them tick. I think it's probably my uh, my relationship with trains. Um, uh, the the concession towards playing on easy mode is that I let it tell me when we've got changes in uh, in speed limits coming up, so that I don't just repeatedly fail for no good reason. I like to get to my destination in in good time. You know, uh, rip it around the corner again. Let's, uh, let's try something. Oh, let's look. Let's try the passing camera. There we go. Oh, I've got a I've got a station coming up. Is that the one I'm supposed to stop at? I'm supposed to stop at one of them. Here I come. I've got enough time to do this and then jump back on board. Smashing. Carrying some passengers who are qu clearly quite brave knowing that I'm at the helm. Uh, but, you know, every one of them's a legend. Right, okay. Uh, get, me, get me back in the, back in the situation room here. Um, right then, where are we? Coming up on, uh, what's that, is that kilometre? I would imagine so, quarter of a kilometre before we've got a bit of a slowdown. Well, I'm taking no chances, I'm going to do it now. Ease it off some. I'm even going to, I'm going to cheat and use the speed limiter to, uh, to, to drop my speed as well. No, that can't be 200 metres. I must have more than 200 metres to go. All right, let's ease it back a bit more. Just a, just a little bit. Are we slowing now? We're, we're not quite slowing as much as I'd like. A little bit more. Oh, I mean, it is. It's the station, look. Oh, we are supposed to stop here. Right, uh, brakes and that. Uh, do a bit of that. Uh, give it some of this. A bit more of that. Oh, nails it. First time. Oh, now I need to push buttons that let people in. Uh, that's next station. That's previous station. Um... There'll be a button that lets people in. These are not the buttons I am looking for. Oh no, I should have paid more attention. Um, where are we? No. No, that's the... That's, that's that. Uh, what's, what's this lot over here? What are, what are you over there? Oh, come on, I started really well. All I need to do is find the doors button. Cabin light switch, that might help. See what I'm doing. Uh, what have we got over here? Hey, oh, apparently apparently jobs are good. Uh, okay. I'm now going to proceed to Arosa for my next passenger stop. 10-4, okay, right. Uh, do I need to be on the lookout for a signal here? Or are we just trotting on? Nope, I'm not getting any instructions there. I feel like I ought to give some kind of, you know, closing sander. Ah, oh, it gives me a tall tip when the button's available for, for interactivity. I'll acknowledge something. Uh, what are you? Uh, that's not really done me any favours. I was fairly sure. What are you? No, what are you? That's the, that'll be the emergency, yeah, 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 emergency break. What I don't really I can I open the window? I always think better there we go. I always think better when the window's open. Uh for those of you who've, who've watched me on the CSX route, you'll uh, you'll know that. Um where are we? Headlights, instrument lights, far plan beleuchtung. Well, neither of those do anything anyway. What do we got? That's the acknowledger. That will be something to do with coupling. These look like uh, electric. Oh, very good. There, it's got the electrical symbol on it. Uh, that's me pantograph doing something. Heating, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, cold pantograph, all right. Uh, yeah. uh, user propellers. Intriguing. Um, I'm just going to assume that it's properly closed the doors and that I'm not going to get totally told off and sacked from my position as commander of this vessel uh, for disregarding passenger safety. Well, so far, seems good. Right, okay, trot on. Limiter set to 30. 
got this uh, got this uphill section here. That could do with some smoothing. That's the signal I was looking for. It's uh, three and two there. It's not really what you want to roll at the craps table. How fast are we going? This doesn't feel fast enough. It's not fast enough. Give it some more juice. There you are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steady on. Put, go make some kind of concession towards passenger comfort, man. Right, there we go. This is a, this is a good bit of winding uphill. Oh, well, this is all good. Uh, right, let's uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we we can sit in uh, in the carriage. Uh, that's cool. Yes, I want to sit some. No way! No, I can't. Uh, no, no way. Can I walk? Can I walk about a bit? Guess not. I guess I should be managing the uh, the train itself. Now, I think the the stuff I was looking at previously. It's almost like this could this would allow me to send some kind of passenger information to say this service will next call at I don't know Peist Peist it's not Peist Peist it looks like I don't think it will though I, I think the, the, the instruction said that we're now on our way to Arosa Arosa platform two see it even says it down the bottom yeah yeah. yeah. You, you have to wake up early in the morning to uh, get one over by me, on me, which uh, means we were last at Litsiruti. Beautiful town, marvellous people. This is quite steep coming up the hill. I bet they do a downhill route on this as well, uh, which can be rather perilous. Uh, if uh, if one does not sufficiently govern the uh, the train one is manager of, uh, also I've seen several screenshots that show this uh, this magnificent train uh, a dashing through the snow, and uh, and I for one I'm looking forward to such adventures. This is great. Like, it's largely great because I don't have to do very much. I, I can just sit here and in, and enjoy the ride. While, uh, while having a look around at whatever takes me fancy. Which at the moment is the outside of the train. Oh, it's like, it's like every frame's a screenshot. What was that noise? Yeah, I've had to do that as well. Where you have to put an unnecessary curve in to get it under the bridge. I've seen it. And yeah, and that's clearly had terrain alignment collision going on. I I know all this stuff. I uh, apologies. I'm I'm still trying to get uh, used to the uh, the nuances of the camera, uh, and as such, I am rolling it around rather more than I would normally. Uh, let's see what other buttons we've got here. So that's a, uh, the coupling camera there. I've got I've got a while before I need to do anything of any significance. Uh, apparently our ETA is in about six minutes. So, uh, you know, you've got just... In, oh, hello. This is from, uh, from an American spy satellite. But as you can see, oh, I think we even have... We have passing places on this route rather than, uh, rather than dual trackery. That's fun. No, I doubt that camera wasn't doing it for me. I, I possibly ought to sit down again. But I guess that's I guess that's not happening. All right, back to the cockpit. Keep an eye out for a signal. Now, I believe there will be some manner of uh, of klaxon if the forthcoming signal is uh, or the the next signal. So if I pass through this and it was yellow, which I suspect it possibly isn't. Uh, well, it's another five, so obviously was was a pretty good uh, score of craps. Um, uh, yeah, as as I pass through a signal, if it was if it was yellow, which is my understanding of signals, but I'm sure I've got twenty people correcting me simultaneously before even reaching the end of the video. Uh, 
then that will usually mean that the next signal is currently not green. And therefore, I should be prepared to take evasive action when the time comes. Of course, evasive action in a train means you apply the brakes judiciously. But, yeah, this isn't the kind of route that I'd make, is it? Because I'd, I'd bulldoze straight through the middle of this and do a straight line. So there's a, there's a goodly amount of foliage going on. But this is, I mean, this is definitely a route for those of us who appreciate the scenery uh, rather than the speed. Because um, speed's not uh, not part of the, the advertised adventure package on this particular route. This is, a, uh, this is one for, you know, I hope you like your pine trees because we've got lots of them. Some kind of some kind of dirt bike track going on there. Right, what have we got going up? And this is all uphill as well. I, 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 I definitely want to try the downhill, having uh, having experienced this uh, this climb. Downhill in the snow, pursued by an avalanche. I want I want some disaster movie route. Outside again. Oh, look at that. Camera knows what it's doing. Bit of bit of a lake there. Uh, not so much of the uh, the ships that are loaded with one item of cargo, which is you know a little disappointing. Well, I'm enjoying this tremendously. I don't know about you, but this is this is uh, this is quite the uh, the scenic tour we've got going on here. And it also gives you a real a real sense of the of the scale of the thing. Maybe I should take up writing travel guides for the uh, for the would be adventurous train engineer. Check out the Orosa line. You really get a sense of how big mountains are. That'll be my review, you know, four stars, would drive it again. Ah, right, this one's got two green lights. Don't know what that means. It possibly means that this light is green, and so is the next one, double green. It's what you want to see. It only has two, oh, it, 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 the fact that one's higher than the other will probably also have significance. I just thought, anyway, I'm two minutes away from my station. We've got some kind of loading type facility here and someone's just left these wagons behind. I mean, that's, that's an oversight they won't soon forget. This, this guy's calling the train operator and going, you've left the wagons behind. Get back here immediately. Because that's not the link, that's not the not longest, no, that's not the longest siding I've ever seen. Okay, so we've got about half a kilometre, well, half a kilometre and change uh, to the station. And that's a very little tunnel, given that I've come, well, a bridge more than tunnel, given that I've just come out of a, out of a, a, a tilty corner. Oh, uh, yellow light, green light. Potentially meaning, yeah, 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 I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm slowing, I'm slowing. I'm slowing. No, 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 not the emergency brake arm. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll cease, cease. Onwards. That's backwards. That's backwards. Oh dear. All right. Apply the brake. Apply the brake. There you go. Right. Let's uh, ease that. Ease down there, soldier. Uh, right. The speed selector's all right. Reverser back into forwards. It, oh, it snapped me reverser out of gear. That's why we started rolling backwards. That's not safe. That's not a safety feature I'd employ. Right, let's uh, turn it brake off. Oh, no, no. Should have put it in gear first. Might get a bit of wheel slip there. Never mind. That's all good. Yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll deploy the brake before setting off again. 
that creaking reminds me quite a lot of the Poseidon adventure, which is possibly an appropriate a tractor there, look. Uh, right, it might give me another another warning here. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about it, though. That's the thing, because I acknowledged. Oh, okay, it will apply the emergency brake if one does not acknowledge correctly, or in a timely fashion. Fine. Fine, fine. It's all good. Oh, this is it's quite mysterious. Right, we've got to stop coming up in a couple hundred metres. But this, this train really does stop on a dime, so I'm uh, I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, I'll just hammer the brake on when it comes to... Well, they say it stops on a dime. It, it stops on a five cent, uh, five euro cent piece. Uh, no, it would be a ten euro cent piece. There you go. There you can't, can't fool me. Um, all right, ease it down some. That's a lot. Give me like at least one clicks worth there. That's it. Let's hope someone set these points correctly. Tell you what, let's uh, let's put a bit more power on. We'll ease it in here, ready to uh, dispatch our three passengers. Chap in there is going to be going, what are you playing at? Are you new or something? All right, mate. Oh, it's my brother. Uh, right. We shall pull to a... You know what? I'm going to let people off right near the staircase. They'll appreciate that. Give it some of this. Give it a fair bit of that. Maybe, maybe overshot where I wanted there. All right, stick it on. Yeah, hammer the brakes on. All right, you ingrates, get out of my train. Uh, hold on, where am I? Good. Right. Any of you? Come on, get off. Oh no! Look, see what I'm what I'm what I'm trying to find here, but I, I'm I'm getting caught up on a a very a tile roof building here. Yeah, there we are. All right, see, I want to go down here to see if anyone was actually. Oh, you're, you're, you're too funny. Uh, see if anyone was actually using the doors, which they're not. I seem quite content though. Uh, we're gonna have another stab at trying to find the doors button. Turn the lights on. What's that? What's this? It's not that. No, no. What are you? Descent switch. Awesome. Vacuum pump switch. It's the sander, right? Okay. Uh... Oh, it'll be here somewhere. What? What's that? That's, the emer that's another emergency brake. And then we've got another emergency brake. They really are ready for emergencies in these, uh, in these places. Are we there yet? There we go. Because I've got to wait until I've got the go ahead, so I could go and uh, go and fling this into the uh, into the depot and uh, and finish me uh, finish my benches. I'll give the windscreen a quick going over. Where's the? What's that? Where? Are you, what are? You, where? How do I open the doors? What are you? Yeah, I see, I recognise the pantograph buttons, and I even knew it was called a pantograph. You know, you've got to give me some credit for that. What are you? Wipe control again. Just leave that alone. And that one, main switch. Okay, no, that's... I appear to be receiving a message on the telegraph. No? All right, guess not. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got some buttons here. What does this one do? PIS next. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. Where's PIS previous? Down here? But that's not previous. No, no, not that one or this one. No, I want the one I had before. Oh, I think that was it. Yeah, that's the right one. Right, now, where is the button to open the... Because it's giving, it's giving me the, uh, the hand of 
able to control it. Now, you see, I've done, I, I can't blame anyone but myself for this because it did say it in the tutorial, but I, I was starting to get a, a mite uh, eager to get underway uh, by that point. Uh, what are you? It's not the descent switch. It's not those. I need some RD funk right now. Nope. And what? It's saying that I'm the right distance away. Or maybe I need to go a little bit further. What do we think? If I were to do, a, you know, just another couple of couple of meters up the uh, up the old track here. There you go. That ought to do the trick. So you see, telegraph's going mad. Air brake on. No. What if I pull towards the end of the platform? I've I've stopped in a place that should be good for the passengers to get out on. You see, you know, if we reach that point now, I'm just, I'm, I'm just clicking everything to try. Where's the doors button? It was over here somewhere. I swear. I bet, I, I bet I don't even need to. I bet I've just parked incorrectly, or I've overshot, or undershot, or something. All right, let's try this the other way around this time. Let's apply some, uh, apply some of that, and then ease this off. Much smoother, much smoother. Lights red, lights red. You did not make the passenger stop as instructed at Arosa. I tried, dear boy, I tried. He's down, don't wanna run the red. Oh well, it's telling me to go to the siding now, so uh, I've been sent home without my tea. Uh, let's give it some of that. Punch it, Chewy. that red light for me do we think yep okay ease it down ease it down no that red light was for someone it wasn't for me oh hold on that's the uh that's the end of the line uh, give me give me some brakes give me more brakes more brakes a little bit more brakes than that ease it let's get it right close to the buffers here brakes stops perfect what a champ Take it out of gear. Put the uh, me me V stall uh, doodah on uh, on that. Let's uh, give it some of that. Turn the turn the juice off. I'm all done. Oh, there we go. See, unfortunately, you have not completed this journey successfully. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, what a splendid looking route. Uh, the only thing that I omitted to do was park correctly to let passengers off, or I, I didn't give them long enough to get off the train or something. I shall have to review this footage and find out exactly what I did wrong. Anyway, I'll be back on this route again in the near future to do something in the snow. I do hope you're tuning in for that. Uh, hit up the subscribe button if you'd like to make sure you don't miss out on it. And, uh, and chuck a like at this one if you had as good a time riding the train as I did. Not really driving it, but kind of putting it into gear and just enjoy the scenery. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheerio.